So here we are in what I call lava test world. Or basically it's just a test world where I'm going to pour a lot of lava to see the effect of lava on all these different blocks. So let's let's get to the end. This will take a little bit, but uh, I kind of want to record all the blocks. And let's get ready to pour lava. So I won't show you me pouring all this lava all the time, but basically I'm going to pour lava like this all along the row and uh, hopefully not kill myself. I don't know if you can kill yourself in creative mode. Anyway, and uh, see what effect the lava has on all these different blocks. Like, does it destroy them? Does it sweep them away? What's it do? Oh, there's something that caught on fire. And uh, anyway, so we'll be back in a little bit and we'll show you the results. Whew. Anyway, I've just gotten done with uh, pouring all the lava, and uh, let's let's go up actually and go see what that looks like. Oh, sounds like yep, <laughs> the dynamite just went off. And uh, anyway, there you have all the lava test area, and we'll uh, let it sit here and bake for a while and see what goes through the, what the lava destroys and what it doesn't wash away. So that's about it for now. So there's sort of two different kinds of things that can happen. One is that stuff gets washed away and one is that it uh, actually gets destroyed by the lava just by burning. So I'll have to do some additional testing to show that off. Like for example, these wood blocks are certainly just burning away, they're not getting washed away. And so anyway, you can see what's going on here. And uh, yeah, we'll be back in a minute. So what's interesting is some things like uh, the music boxes will catch on fire, but they won't actually burn and destroy. Okay, so here we are a day later, letting all the burn uh, continue. And some not surprising results are that wood, wood of all sorts here burns these uh, blocks. Uh, let's see, wool burns. Bookshelves burn, stairs burn, this this wooden stairs burn, um, melons and so on, pumpkins, they don't burn, uh, netherrack doesn't, doesn't seem to burn, and uh, let's see, what's interesting here to me is that none of this stuff has really caught fire and stayed, you know, stayed lit in any kind of sense, like, for example, the netherrack, you know, that's stuff that you can set on fire, and uh, it should just stay lit, um, the lava hasn't actually made it uh, begin to light or anything. So anyway, half slabs, they burn. Um, the other, <laughs> the other uh, stairs, the other flavors of stairs, they burn. Saplings burn. Uh, foliage burns. Cobwebs burn. These little guys burn. They all burn, burn, burn. Um, let's see. Uh, so yeah, what's interesting here is that most of the man-made stuff does not burn. We saw that the bookshelf burned over there but otherwise, we'll see that uh, most of the stuff doesn't burn. Um, snow melts away, and uh, cactuses don't burn at all, which is kind of cool looking. Um, yeah, these don't burn. Uh, fence posts do burn, and let's see, these guys don't. Uh, lily pads, well, they didn't. Basically, lily pads don't stop the flow. I'm expecting to find uh, there's like cobblestone probably under there. Um, these kind of fence posts don't burn, the nether fence posts. Uh, books? Nah, why would books burn? So, let's see what else. Fence posts? Nope. So basically, like I say, most of the man-made stuff doesn't burn. Uh, the lever? I think the lever just got washed away. It didn't really burn per se. Uh, plates don't. Again, I think these things got washed away. Um, and let's see, they don't burn. And let's see, what do we got here? Trap doors. I guess we have to go up close and look. And, uh, yep, trap doors are fine. That should have been left open. I don't know why that got popped closed. But, uh, anyway, a trap door, you know, is fine. Let's see, the gates are fine. Even though fence posts burn, the gates don't. And let's see, continuing. Okay, so what happened here is sort of interesting. Um, yeah, basically the, uh... <laughs> The rails went away. The uh, the trick here is that the ice 
kind of melted into water here and kind of made everything flow away, so I'm not entirely sure about the rails. I'll have to do a separate experiment without the ice there. And uh, let's see. Interestingly, snow. <laughs> snow is fine. You know, it's the ice that melts, but snow, snow against lava, no problem. Uh, we'll have to go on to the other side to see how the mushrooms did. I think they got washed away. Um, the water got covered up. The TNT obviously blew up. And uh, the lava here does not flow through the portal. So let's look over here if we can and see how the mushrooms did. And, well, it's a little hard to see, actually. Yeah, they got washed away. <laughs> you can see that the, uh, the lava is fully inside that enclosure. So that's about it. I'll do uh, one more experiment with um, without the ice to see how the rails do. I think they'll all get washed away. So here I'm redoing the lava experiment and seeing if the uh, rails just get washed away or what. And the answer is yes. Like you can see, basically the rails just got washed away. Um, so anyway, let's see, I'll test some other stuff to see what gets really just washed away. And yeah, those just get washed away. They don't burn per se, they just, uh, they're not, they're not strong enough to stand up to the lava. So you can see, like, for example, here, the fence post is strong enough to stand up to the lava, but later it'll burn away. Um, again, let's talk about washed away. These things are going to get washed away, I suspect. Yep, so those all get washed away. And you'll notice the foliage doesn't wash away. Um, it's just going to eventually burn. And let's see. The, uh, the saplings, they get washed away. And the rest of this stuff eventually just burns. It doesn't get washed away. So that's about it. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye. So here's a little bonus footage for those of you who sat through the credits. Um, I wanted to see how the vines would handle lava. Do they wash away or do they uh, just burn eventually? And it looks like they just kind of washed away there. And that's about it. Oh, and one more other piece of bonus footage, which uh, I don't know if you noticed this in the uh, video. But basically when I put down lava here, the uh, mushrooms pop out. It's not that they're getting washed away so much as the light, I believe, is actually causing them to uh, get harvested. So like that, you saw that they just pop out.